Hello guys and welcome back to Mosaic Monday. I'm so happy to be doing this again. And it is me, Eliana. Hi! And I hope you guys had a great VBS week. Today what we're gonna be doing is rainbow tweets. So you can do this with paper, you can do it with markers, with pencils, color pencils, crayons, whatever you have. Today I'm gonna be doing it with paints because I love, love, love to paint. It's so much fun. The reason why we're doing rainbow tweets is because one of my favorite parts of summer is watching all of the birds in the trees, waking up, hearing them sing in the mornings, and I love it. I love getting able to wake up in the morning, peek out my window, and see all of the neat birds that are there. I love seeing all the blue jays, I love seeing all the cardinals, even the pigeons, they're so cute. I think pigeons are cute. But today we're gonna learn how to draw some birds. So follow me and let's get started. So I'm gonna be using blue, red, yellow, white, and black, and I'm gonna make all the colors of the rainbow. So here are my paint brushes, my pencil, and yay, all of my paints. Now let's get started drawing. Here's a circle and a little curvy line, a line going down, and do like a semi-heart shape. And now I'm gonna be drawing the eyes, some eyelashes, and a little curly hair, and the beak for our first little birdie. Oh yeah, let's give him some little pupils, and let's draw this little baby's little feet. So for this next bird, can anybody guess which one we'll be drawing? I'll give you a hint. It has a funny neck. Yep, you guessed it. It's a flamingo. So now I'm just going to draw its beak, little eye, and its little wing. And then for the legs, you'll notice that we go down. And then for the next one, we go down, but then we kind of curve the leg a little bit. So here's another easy bird to draw. We'll start with the triangle. And then curve down, we come up and down. Another little curve, we draw its tail, a few lines, more wings. And of course, their little legs. If you notice that for the legs, I just draw a line and then two other lines. We're gonna go ahead and give this one a cute little bow, cause it's so adorable. Knock, knock, who's there? Who? 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 That's right, an owl. It's an owl. This next bird that we're drawing is an owl. So I started with his eyes, drew its little beak, its little ears, and drawing its little feet. And there we go. So for this next bird, it's just a random little bird. We're going to start off with a little blob of paint, orange. Of course, a bushy tail. We can't forget a bird's bushy tail. We just draw on its body. And there we go. And then we're going to let it dry a little bit. So let's move on. And we are going to begin to paint in the lines. It's okay if you paint over your pencil. It might smudge a little bit, but it's okay. Don't worry about it, guys, because once the paint dries, it'll look fabulous. So you guys get to paint in. So of course I painted the flamingo pink, and for this bird, I thought it'd be cute to do some blue, and then later you'll see that I did some green for this bird, but we're gonna start off by painting its wing and its head blue this next birdie I decided to do red and then later you'll see that I did a yellow beak and then I went ahead and did the little bow purple it looks kind of a dark purple but later I'm gonna go in with some white accents. So here we go, some purple. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. How's that? Do you guys like that? I know, it's pretty neat. Painting is just so relaxing. 
So I ran out of space in my little paint bowl. So then I just put some black paint on my little cardboard over here on my little cardboard box because I started to draw the details in. Here we go for this orange blobby bird. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but hey, it's a bird, right? It goes tweet tweet. Here we go. We're giving him a little bit more definition here. And then our legs, our flamingo legs. I've always thought flamingos were cool. And they were one of my favorite birds to go see at the zoo. There we go. Paint his little eye. Some eyelashes. Can't forget about the wings. And then what? The bushy tail. More legs. More little chicken legs. Of course, it's I. Because how is it going to see? Yep, you guessed it. Wings. And bushy tail. So here we go, now it's time to paint the owl. Painting the little owl's body yellow, or the belly of the owl yellow. And then here we go in with some purple. What I did is I mixed a little bit of white to the dark purple that I made earlier so that I could paint this owl's wings and the top of this owl's head. Then I went in with the detail brush just to make sure that I got all the nice angles that I wanted to. There we go. And then we curve. And then I'm going to go in right now with a thicker brush to fill it in. And then, of course, we can't forget about the little owl's ears. I don't think birds have ears, but I gave this bird some ears. So I wanted a color for his cute little eyes. So all I did is I got some white, and then I got a little bit of blue, like a tiny, tiny bit of blue. And I made this cute baby blue color. I know. And then I gave this little blue bird some blue eyes as well and did some accents on the bluebird's wings and see how i mentioned earlier that this bird was going to be blue and green i don't know it kind of looks like a little parakeet what do you think So I realized that one of my birds was missing something and that was my little owl's mask. So what I did is I wanted to try to do a brown color. So all I did is I mixed every single color that I had in my bowl. Some, a little bit of orange and a little bit of that baby blue. You know, to get a good brown color, mix every single color of the rainbow. And then if you see that it's not brown enough, add a little bit more orange. I don't know what it is, but orange just makes a good 
brown color when mixed with all the others. So here we go. Got the brown going. There we go. Painting the owl's little mask. Went in with a little detail brush to make sure that I got all of the angles correct. And there we go. Added a little bit more details to the belly with the brown color. And then gave this owl little brown feetsies. And then I went in with the white. Again, just more detail. Giving this little owl a little bit of a personality. And there we go. White accents on the little bow. I don't know, it almost looks like each and every single bird has its own personality. What do you think we should name each and every single one of these birds? Comment down below your name suggestions. I don't know, to me the middle one kind of looks like a... Enrique! It looks like an Enrique! Alright, so for this next portion, we're just going to do a little bit of a background for our painting. We're just doing some dots, we're doing some red dots, and some orange ones, some yellow and some green, some blue, and then last but not least, some purple. That's right, a rainbow background. How beautiful. Alright friends, this is the final product. Isn't it neat? All right, so what'd you think? Did you like it? I hope you get to do this at home sometime this week, either today, tomorrow, whenever you wanna do it. Cause hey, it's summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to draw birds. And you know what? Do something creative today. All right guys, I will see you on Wednesday for gardening that's right for gardening so come back on wednesday for watch it grow wednesday okay i'll see you later bye